Okay, so we've got the back of the engine painted. We've got pretty much all the surfaces nice and prepped up. We've got our new gasket right here. So this surface, mainly what I'm concerned about is the right around the hole. Where these gaskets crush is right here. The rest of it doesn't really do much. But it's totally flat. It looks bad, but it's been acetoned and cleaned. So what I'm gonna do now is get our new turbo, our nice new beautiful turbo, and bring it into position. It's not light. Okay. Whew. So now that we got that, the first one you gotta do is this one. I guess as this goes on, you can't get this bolt on. Which I'm sorry, you can't see it, but I can't see it neither. So don't feel too bad. So I'll get this one on just a hair so the turbo doesn't fall off. Okay, that one's on. And then we got this one, which is all black. So I'm gonna kind of clean this up. Much, much, much better. So three and four is the one that's up underneath. I mean, gotta just bring this into position. Uh, take the tape off there. Take the tape off the bottom. If I can get the tape off the bottom off, it's kind of a little goopy from the oil. Okay, so what we kind of got to do now is get our gasket together for our drain, which I'll go and get, and start tightening down the bolts for everything else. Okay guys, we're kind of ending day two here. We've got the turbo on, stuff loosely mounted. Uh, the four nuts are all on the turbo and tight. Uh, we kind of got the whole back of the engine painted nice and clean. Make it look way better than it was and we'll call it good for today. Alrighty. So here we are. This is a couple days fast forward. Unfortunately, we lost the video recordings for putting some of the coolers on, mainly the heat exchanger as well as the oil cooler. Here we are starting to get the hose clamps put back together and we'll just kind of run through a pretty quick little showing of where all the hoses are and all the hose clamps. So here we're getting our return pipe ready to kind of go on. This is it right here. This is our coolant return to the exhaust manifold. It has an O-ring that fits in it and two bolts that are exactly the same length. Uh, if you're gonna put a new hose on, don't forget to put two clamps on as you can see in the video. I only put one clamp on, but it would make it tremendously easy if you have both hose clamps on at the same time. Now with new hoses, they get a little hard to fight but once you get them on, uh, it should be pretty easy.
So let's, uh, let's get the gasket. Can you hand me the gasket for it? The five, it's in the air filter. Right there. Yeah, so they machine and it goes on one way. Um, but this surface and that surface were machined at the same time. Yeah. There's one flat level. So before we go on any further, I just want to make sure you guys are aware that there are two gaskets, one here and one here. And they both must be on the part at the same time or the housing will actually crack in half. That is because these surfaces are machined flush with each other. So if you forget a gasket, it will crack. So we'll have to put that on a little later because it'll kind of fall no matter what we do. So here's how I'm thinking we do this. It's heavy? It's heavy. It's heavy. <laughs> okay, so let's do this. I get down here. I'm going to grab it and the nut right here mm -hmm. is an interference fit, if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. Actually, with the bracket gone, it might not be. Yeah, thank you. Man, that thing is beautiful. I'm going to set it down gently. I'm going to lift and twist. Don't don't pull up or down on that. Just yeah, I'll just. Testing. I have a hose tool in there now. Red handle. Oh yeah, you do. Okay, so now where's our two long bolts? We're going to need that in the gasket. So do you want to go down there and put the, the piece on? This looks really nice. Can you slide the uh, charger cooler back just a hand? Tear towards you? Yeah, there you go. That's all I need. There's no washer on this, is there? No, it's just that piece, that gasket. And don't tighten anything down because remember that bracket has to go in. Yep. It goes in right here. Ready? Okay, I'm going to slide it forward. I don't feel like the right one. There you go. It's not that, it's the, the threads are different. We have two different threads on here. Oh, do we? So three of one and two of the other. That's all, that stops right there. Let's put it on backwards and see if maybe there's some junk in the threads. Uh, could you give me a 12 so I can That was such a bummer when that last stud broke. Oh, yeah. Would have been done that day. Yeah. Oh, you know what we were supposed to get? The uh, clamp savers, the little rubber pieces, too. Oh, yeah. Huh. Whoops. We'll you, get those in a second. You, okay, I was going to say, if you know where they are, I can go grab them. Yeah, so we need the plug here. Did I bring it? No, it's in your cup holder still. Okay, so we need that. The, the red uh, hose clamp savers, right? I have black ones. Oh, the black ones. So let's go get them.